Well, howdy, and welcome to another edition of On the Road with Larry Dixon. On this trip, we are in Moorhead in Rowan County, Kentucky, and we're going to check out some fantastic country stores and places to eat, some other sites and so forth. This is the place if you enjoy art. We have the Rowan County Arts Center. There's a photo exhibit or art exhibit at the Rowan County Courthouse. We have the Folk Art Center. So if you're interested in the arts or artwork, check out Moorhead Brown County. With me is Ash Gillum with the Brown County Arts Center. Ashley, tell us what, uh, what goes on here at the Brown County Arts Center. Well, uh, this is actually the historical courthouse here in Brown County. And uh, what we did was we took the courthouse and turned it into an art center. And we took the old county offices, like the county clerk's office, the county attorney's office, and we turned them into working studio artists, um, or artist studios. And so uh, artists rent places here. They, they make art when visitors come. If their door's open, you can come watch people make baskets, uh, paint watercolors or acrylics, or do fiber um, crafts and things like that. And then, of course, upstairs used to be the uh, court, uh, courtroom where we had all kinds of trials and all kinds of fun stuff. And we've turned that into an auditorium. And that's where we have concerts, plays, square dances, weddings. But no, you can come in anytime. We're usually here Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And you can come look around. Uh, each month we try to have a different exhibit. And that's another thing that's kind of unique about us is that we have an open exhibit where someone off the street can come and say, I've never had an exhibit but I've been doing uh, watercolors for years and I would like to show my art. And then we, are, we pick a month and they have their exhibit. And so of course, if anybody watching your uh, travel uh, show, if wants to do an exhibit, come see us. I will warn you though, we are kind of booked till the end of 2024 into 2025. And with me is Joe Sarter, the resident, one of the resident artists here at the Brown County Art Center. So Joe, how long have you been here? What do you do? Well, I've been here since 2006. Well, I've noticed a lot of your pieces of art here uh, are unique and interesting, just like the uh, the cat and with the spaceship. <laughs> Does that have a specific meaning? Oh no, I, I it's I I enjoy cats I have uh, these are my cats actually although I repeated one of them twice I can work out a composition based on an old photograph I found in family album um, of myself as a baby two weeks old my mother uh, tending and uh, she had me in a big basket Hey, we are at Cave Run Marina. We're going to go down to the boat dock, and also they've got Reno's on the Run, which is a restaurant on the lake. Well, as you can see, man, there are a lot of boats, really nice boats here on Cave Run Lake at the marina. Well, here we are near the end of the dock at Cave Run Marina, and this is where the big boys are parked. We are Lake View Vista, and it is a fantastic view right here of Cave Run Lake as we pan around and get a look at the lake. We are at the Minor C. Clark Fish Hatchery, and they raise fish here and sell them at, to stocked lakes in Ohio, Tennessee, Kentucky, uh, and surrounding states. You heard it too far. Oh. That's right there. I uh, don't know. Uh. Well, 
Well, it's lunchtime and we are at Pennington Farm Meats and More. We're gonna go into their little deli, little uh, restaurant, cafe, and they've got fried bologna, hot dog specials, hamburgers, and they also have a special today, it's ham and Swiss. Well, here we are again at Pennington Farm Meats and More. And you are? Jenny Pennington. Jenny Pennington. Uh-huh. So how long have you been in business, Jenny? Uh, since 2014. Now, the store's been in here since the, the 40s, so, but we opened it in 2014. Well, uh, I, was that your dad that owned this before? My father-in-law. Your father-in-law. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, and, and his parents. Well done. Uh, yeah. Tomato and lettuce. Mayo or Miracle Whip, whichever. Keith? Do you have a chili dog? Just one. Do you like anything on it besides sauce? Okay. Okay. Now, the pork barbecue with coleslaw. Saw on it? Yeah. Would you go fetch me a bag of chips, please? Well, this is one of my favorite places here in Rowan County. And at noontime, this place is absolutely packed. Every seat is taken. So it is a popular place to have lunch. <laughs> yes, they are good hot dogs. I usually get two. Here at Pennington Farms, they have fresh meats. And this is off of their farm. No preservatives. And uh, occasionally, Lenore and I get some steaks from here. And I have to admit, they are some mighty good steaks. A nice selection of Kentucky-made products. And we did have a question. I know these are all your meats. Uh -huh. Is it, Do you use them here in the store? Yes, we do. Uh, like our hot dog sauce is made from our ground beef, and like um, just if we're cooking anything. This is where you get those world famous sugar cookies, and we're going to get Dave some of those world famous sugar cookies. So let's go in and make sure they've got some. Good. You got any of those world famous sugar cookies? I'll go over there. All right. All right. Well, Linda, you think he wants the, the blue, purple? Well, we'll get him the purple. All right. All right. Yeah. Unless you want a bag, Lucy. Oh, we're good. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. That's some fine looking cakes. It looks real good. At this stop, we are at Coffee Tree Books and the Fuzzy Duck Coffee Shop. This is one another one of those iconic stops in Moorhead that you absolutely got to experience. Not many small towns have a bookstore, and here in Moorhead, they've got Coffee Tree Books. Hello. I want a uh, hot chocolate, I want a caramel joe, small, and I want two pounds of regular medium roast fuzzy duck coffee. Well, this is Coffee Tree Books, and as I said earlier, it's unique that a town this size of Moorhead has a bookstore, and it's on two levels. And so let's kind of look around and, and get a feel for Coffee Tree Books. Well, this is the kids section of books. And as you can see, Keith's checking it out. I'm gonna bring Keith back on Monday and let him actually go through the books. You know, he may pick something out to read, who knows? Well, I'm down to the body of my sweater. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Good. The 
looks like you've got a fine crew working on oh, stuff. We do have a fine crew working on stuff. <laughs> If you enjoy the arts right here in Moorhead, Kentucky, we have got a lot of art for you to view. We have the Kentucky Folk Art Center. We are on the second floor of the Kentucky Folk Art Center located right here in Moorhead, Kentucky on First Street. And on here on the second floor is an exhibit that rotates every 30 to 60 days, whatever their schedule is. And it's a, a lot of local folk art artists and others from around the country. Minnie Adkins is a, a world-renowned folk artist. She has pieces of work all over the country. And I've seen quite a bit of her work. And I think this is one of my favorites. This is a really great exhibit right here of folk art. I found this piece right here particularly interesting. I Want No Beat by Cayman Cain. This particular piece is Bird in a Box, The Art of Fear by Cayman Cain. Well, that's been a pretty good look at what's on the second floor. Let's take the elevator down and see what's on the first floor. If chickens and livestock is your thing, this exhibit here by Lonnie and Twyla, Twyla Money. If you have a hankering flung on you to take home a souvenir, be sure to check out the gift shop right here at the Kentucky Folk Art Center. And as you can see, they have lots of neat stuff right here. They've got t-shirts and caps, uh, wooden bowl, brooms, all sorts of things to take home so you can remember your trip right here to the Kentucky Folk Art Center. Okay, we are at the Country Diner, just outside of Moorhead. And don't be fooled by the outside appearance of this building. The food is fantastic in here. It is old time country type food. And we're gonna have breakfast this morning at the Country Diner. Morning. Coffee for me. I'll take your doctor favorite. I want the Western omelet okay. with hot sauce. Uh, biscuits and gravy. Do you want a half or a half? That's just one biscuit. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, I'll take a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Whoa. That's a lot of biscuits and gravy and some hot sauce, please. Thank you. Uh, I think we're good. I'll need a refill. Okay, at the Country Diner, this is what a Western omelet looks like. Thank you. Let's eat. A little hot sauce on the egg omelet and breakfast potatoes. Mm -hmm. That is good eating. That, it was good. We are in downtown Haldeman, Kentucky home of MKM Soaps, Haldeman Museum, The Kiln, and welcome to the Brickyard. All right, we are at MKM Soaps in downtown yep. Haldeman, and you are? I'm uh, Soapbox Willie. Soapbox Willie. Yes, sir. And the welcoming committee? Is Joe. Joe. And that shorty over there. Okay. And that's Cephas. And who's your partner in crime? This is my wife, Susan. Susan, good to meet you. This is one of the places, it's kind of far out of town, but it is so unique. 
Yes. And interesting. That's and the best part. Of, this was a town that put Moorhead to shame. Everybody in Moorhead came here to haul them in when it was in its prime because this is where the schools were. This is where the shopping was, the restaurants, the hospitals, everything was here. So let's talk about soap. Okay. <laughs> what possessed you to go into the soap manufacturing <laughs> business? I didn't say making, I said manufacturing. Well, I always go back to making because of the fact that I didn't make it as big as I could have. We made soap, shared it with relatives, they all went nuts. And they're like, you need to sell this, so. So where do you ship to? Uh, anywhere anybody wants to order, but only in the lower 48. But we do have people that come here, they drop their kids off up at the college and they come over here with a suitcase and they sit down and fill it with soap, buy it, and then they take it home with them. Wow. We've had people from Italy, China, Poland, Poland Spain, um, trying to remember, Scotland. They just, they show up out of nowhere and they just, they, yeah, I heard about your soap. So this is where I'm actually make the soap. You actually watch me do it right there when I'm making soap. All the soaps are on the back walls. Wife makes all the jewelry, including the stones that are wire wrapped down on the lower left. Monkey farts. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is half. The other half's on the other side. Yeah. And it's, we, I mean, we got throwbacks that go all the way to sandalwood. Um, sandalwood and patchouli are the late 60s, early 70s throwback fragrances for uh -huh. people. A lot of them, I got one that smells like beer. I've got one that smells like bacon. I've got one that smells like dirt. I've got one that smells like a new car. You wash your hair with that. You wash your body with that. You shave with it. You do everything with it. It has olive oil in it versus all the others. Do. They all, all do? Yeah, oh, it's okay. just, that's named after olive hill. Just right. Oh, right. right. Course. We are at Saw Stone Brewery right here in downtown Moorhead and uh, in part of the entertainment, downtown entertainment center. So let's go in and check out Saw Stone Brewery. We're inside of Saw Stone Brewery and you have uh, lots of choices if you can get a shot there of the, the choices. Thursday, Wednesday. So Wednesday we do trivia and Thursday we do live jazz. So I know Fridays are really busy. Normally Fridays and Saturdays are the days that we'll have live music out here. And so that'll pull in a pretty big crowd. But yeah. our normal just... What's the favorite brew that... Uh... The most common one is going to be your cream ale. That's one of our best selling beers. Um, mm -hmm. Followed up by number four, that Old Men's Way, the Light Lager. People really like those two now, are, are all of these made here? Uh, uh one through 13 is made here. We're in, what room is this? This is our brew room. Uh, so this is actually our small system now. We have a production facility that we've just opened up uh, in the beginning of June. Uh, it's out 32. Um, so this is gonna be more for just like specialty batches of beer. Um, so anything that the guys wanna do that's just a small special batch will be brewed here. Um, we have barrels and stuff downstairs that they barrel age stuff in. System here, we can do about six kegs per tank. Um, and out there we're doing about 20. So we, or our production, you know, increased a lot, uh, which is why we have 13 beers on it. South Stone Brewing, right here in downtown Moorhead. Cheers. Okay, we are outside the boardroom, charcuterie and wine, and we're having charcuterie for supper, and guess who's with me? Keith and Lily. So let's go in, check out the menu, and see what's inside at the boardroom. How are you? Nope. Oh, okay. Um, we've got some here. All right. Um, Ready to order. Okay. Are we ready to order yet? I got a question for you. Okay. What's a charcuterie? Charcuterie? A charcuterie? Charcuterie board. Okay. What it, is that? It consists of meat, cheeses, fruits, veggies, nuts, spreads, chocolate. Is it any good? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So how long have you been in business here? One year. One year. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's very nice in Thank here. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> well, I think we're ready to order. Okay. Yeah. 
Sydney will take your order. All right, we want the medium charcuterie board and the fondue board, fondue, yeah. fond chocolate fondue board. Okay. Okay, I want a LA. Okay. Anything else right now? Okay, which of these is the most popular? Well, a lot of people like our cranberry goat cheese mm -hmm. um, in this port wine. It's the little purple one there. And probably the white uh, cheddar cranberry is probably the most popular. And of course, everyone loves our homemade uh, pimento cheese from Cocktail Cuties is who makes that. And our Smoking Joe's beer cheese. Ooh. Yeah. All right, we're going to enjoy. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.